Okay. I have my friend who has an interview for first um, year green card, uh, first two years right. for marriage. Marriage, marriage right. Yeah. Um, the thing is, it, it, they go to the interview and they ask um, the girl a question, but she's not really answering the question the way they want to. But she was sick a little bit, but now they scheduled them for another interview. Right. But me, I told them I'm surprised they, inter uh, they schedule you for another interview because she said she not feel well. Well, where, where, where do they live? New Jersey. Okay. So what the law is in, for New York and New Jersey is they got to get a Stokes interview, which is they're going to separate them in two different rooms. Uh, this is by law. You're entitled to two interviews. And they're going to separate you into two different rooms. And they're going to ask the husband 300 questions. They're going to ask the wife 300 questions. Very intimate, detailed questions down to what side of the bed do you sleep on? Uh, what time do you wake up in the morning? How many locks <laughs> on the front door? What's the color of the couch yeah, in the living room? Uh, wh when was the last time you went out for dinner and where? I mean, I can go on and on and on. People yeah, yeah, who I live, gotcha. right, people, and they compare the answers. People who mm -hmm. live together, who know each other very, very well, fail that interview. It's called the Stokes interview. You gotta okay. think ahead of time and prepare ahead of time in marriages that are real and legitimate. For marriages okay. where you are not living together and you're going on that interview, it is almost impossible to pass that interview if you don't live with the spouse.